Rapid thermal processors or rapid thermal annealers are used to rapidly heat a sample for annealing or other purposes. The RX machines are part of the family of manual furnaces for rapid annealing by infrared radiation. They can be also used for implant annealing. The RX is entirely controlled by an external microcomputer which controls the following functions. Programming of the recipes with a full screen graphic editor for temperature steps, gas selection and flow steps, pressure steps, control of the machine for the execution of the process with actual data graphically displayed in real time. Next, it also controls storage and retrieval of all or part of the process data. And finally, it controls automatic calibration. A typical process involves loading a sample into the chamber. Then the user must log into the computer to run a recipe. Once the recipe is finished, the sample is simply removed. This system can handle samples up to 4 inches in diameter. The lamps can heat a sample to a maximum of 900 degrees Celsius. If this temperature is exceeded, then the cooling lines connected to the lamp housing will burst. The gases used in this system are nitrogen, oxygen, and forming gas. Now, let's introduce our lab users. Now, we will go over the various parts of the AET RTP. Here we have the emergency off button. Please only press the emergency off button in the case of an emergency. The chamber door is located in the front of the machine. The sample holder is a quartz holder located on the chamber door. The lamp housing is located inside the machine. The computer is located next to the RTP. It is used to run the recipes inside the RTP. Please do not turn this lever off. If you find it in the off position, do not turn it on. Please contact MIRC staff. Now we will go over the procedure for loading a sample. Lift the bar on the chamber door and gently pull the door open. The sample holder is set up for a 4 inch wafer. If you find the chamber door locked, please contact MRC staff. Be extremely careful with the quartz holder and thermocouple wires. Place your sample on the holder. Lift the bar and carefully close the chamber door. Once the door is closed, push down on the bar to seal the door. Now we will go over running a process. If the system is displaying the AET logo screen, press enter. Make sure that caps lock is on. You may be prompted for the date, your user ID, and your password. Enter the date in the form of DDMMYY. The default value should be OK. Then enter your name and password. If you enter this information correctly, the main menu will be displayed. From the main menu, choose 2 for runs. From the runs menu, select option 1 for add a new record. You will be prompted for a wafer number. You may use any number you want as long as it has not been saved before. If the number you try to use doesn't work, try another one. For the recipe code, give the name of the recipe you want to run. All other items on the screen do not matter and may be left at their default values, even if those values are wrong. When you get to the bottom of the screen, you will be asked which line you want to change. If you want to change anything, enter the appropriate number. If everything is okay, enter zero. There will be a few more screens of options after this one. You may accept the default values by pressing enter. After this, you will see a graph of parameters for the recipe you are about to run. Make sure that the recipe is correct, then press enter. Check to see if the readings on the temperature gauge on the screen and the handheld thermocouple gauge are correct. They should be about room temperature. 
After a few seconds, you will be able to select two for start. The recipe will then run. Please do not pull the door while the process is being run. You can damage the locking mechanism on this door. When the run is complete, you will be asked if you want to save the run. Enter N for a no. If you need a recipe created, please contact the MRRC staff to make one for you. If you are not going to perform any more runs at this time, enter zero until the AET logo screen is displayed. We will now go over unloading a sample. If you find the chamber door locked, please contact MRC staff. Lift the bar on the chamber door and gently pull the door open. Carefully remove your samples using tweezers. Be careful, it may be hot. Lift the bar and carefully close the chamber door. Once the door is closed, push down on the bar to seal the door. Do not use your hands to pick up a processed wafer. The wafer may still be hot. You may burn yourself. After watching this training video, you should know how to load a sample, run a recipe, and unload a sample. If you have any further questions, please direct them to the trainer for this equipment. Please do not direct your questions to Mohammed.